Hello everyone. And now for something different. Same old location. Different bike. This is my recently acquired Carrera Titan X that I bought last night. Uh, as brand new, but in condition at least. Uh, the poor chap I bought it off, uh, bought it brand new from Halfords and then uh, only rode it once home. And then the following day he had a bit of an accident on a motorbike and uh, broke, broke his coccyx bone. So they sat in the garage unused and I'll try and put a couple of photos on. Um, it really was brand spanking new, not a mark anywhere. But uh, After many hours and hours and hours and hours and hours of looking on the internet, on Marketplace at well, because of the uh, the lockdowns we've had, it seems people went crazy buying bikes, and now there seems to be a lot flood in the market for sale, so you can grab a grab a bargain. Um, this one was considered with other bikes such as the Caliber Boss Nut, the Boardman, and various other ones that I could have afforded, and I wanted to go for a, as good as possible second-hand one rather than buying a brand new one and uh, saving a few quid, which is what I did. I got this for a very reasonable price of £450. And as I say, it never had a scratch on it. It still hasn't got a scratch on it, just uh, plenty of dirt. But it's not as dirty as I thought it was going to be to this point. I've done about two miles so far. And this has some uh, distinct advantages over my electric bike. Uh, in a moment, I'm going to try and well not try I'll get up there oh, fairly easy I would have thought on this bike it won't look it on video but that's quite a, a steep set of stairs and it's very slippy muddy and wet and then when you get to the top there's this tree trees bent in and it's a bit awkward because you, ha you have to go up the steps you can't run it around the side of the steps but uh, I'll film that in a moment I thought I'd have a little break have a I've got no uh, water bottle on this bike, so in my bag I've put some uh, some orange juice because uh, I normally don't drink on, on my journeys on my electric bike, but uh, I haven't been getting serious stick and I don't feel guilty because I've got a heart condition. My heart will only beat to, I think I've seen it to 120 so far and that was last night when I took this out for a spin in the, uh, in the dark when it was foggy and three degrees and freezing. I did three point something miles. I think it was 3.6 miles. I managed to get my heartbeat up to 120. Obviously it should be somewhere around 170. But, uh, so I bought this bike off a nice guy called, a nice, uh, well, youngest chap called Lucas. And uh, it was on Marketplace. I messaged him and uh, we did various uh, messages to each other. Then I considered one which was a boardman, orange and black, looked quite nice, but that was ooh, miles away from where I live. I didn't fancy a long drive. And it was 50 quid dearer than this one. And with the fuel, it would have been another 10 or 15, 20 quid, whatever. So I got this because it reminds me of my electric bike, my electric Carrera. And this is, I don't know if I'm correct in saying this, you'll have to put it in the comments. But I believe this is the highest spec Carrera they've, they've made. Uh, as far as I'm aware, this is their flagship mountain bike. And it's got the Rock Shocks. I think it's the Rock Shocks Recon. It's quite good. This is. And although I'm never ever, this is a reason why I've ended up with this bike. Because my age, I'm 57, and my heart condition that I've mentioned too many times, it's boring. Um, I'm, ne I'm never going to benefit from the latest weapon. If money was no object and you gave me the best ge geometry bike with the best wheels, the best suspension and everything else, I won't benefit from it because I won't even put this through its paces in a, in a serious fashion. So um, I was amazed when I first got it to see how big the uh, the 52 first gear was. Uh, it's Shram Eagle SX. Uh, it's mad how big that is. It's, it's absolutely huge. It's bigger, bigger than my hand span. And obviously it's a one by system. One, one up front. And uh, as you can see, WTB Trail Boss 2.25 and it's just started raining, 
Uh, what else can I say? I thought it would have the full speed of headlock my electric bike has here, but it hasn't. It's going to rain now, it's not even forecast. It's got the bolt through axle. Uh, I'm not sure what diameter it is in millimetres, but I shall get to that. And it's got the Shimano, I think they're M200 brakes, and they modulate really nice, much better than the ones on my electric bike. And this is the 19 inch frame, which I believe is a medium. But it started uh, suddenly seriously raining, so I'll continue this video in a moment. in this uh, short video, hopefully a short video. I tested the echo ability under this bridge, didn't I? Echo! Yep. A nice family went past me. They got a Dalmatian dog. He stopped and sniffed my bike. I thought he was about to whittle up it, but he didn't. But it wouldn't have made any difference because I'm washing it when I get home anyway. Back to the bike. Uh, and all the graffiti that people waste the time and uh, <laughs> money for paint. <laughs> I guess they get a good target market of people who see it, I suppose. I'm not sure how to get over to that one. There's no way there unless you're on a boat. But less of the graffiti, more of the bike. I'm not sure where I got to. Um, let's start on my bag. It's been fantastic, that bag, although it weighs a ton. It, uh, it's got tools in it, pumps in it, inner tubes, water, cameras, little GoPros, etc. 360 camera, it, it weighs about seven pounds, I, I would guess. And the bike, I've read a few uh, editor's choice uh, comments and reviews, and they reckon it's the Riz lighter bike. Apparently this is the same weight as a boss nut, as a caliber boss nut. I'm not sure what the Boardman weighs, but uh, a couple of my friends have got those and they're quite happy with them. They give them some stick. I don't think they have too many issues, but they do ride them a lot harder than I'll ever ride a bike and a lot further as well. Um, it said somewhere that the wheels were tubeless ready. I'm not sure, and then I read somewhere that the tyres are not, so I'm not sure how true that is. If you know the answers, please uh, drop it in the comments below. But I do intend, oh, after I got the bike home, then I realized I needed a shock pump, pump the shock pump to blow the, uh, well, to let down and reinflate and get my sag on the uh, 130 mil, I believe this is, and the front one is 130 mil. This and this front shock, this recon, and I really do like this black chrome effect. I had that on one of my motorbikes, and I quite like that one. I had that on a GSXR. I can't remember which model, but I quite, quite like the black. Well, I'm not sure if it's black chrome they class it as or call it, but I quite like that. I do like the gold ones as well, the gold stanchions. I put this, since I've got the bike, what have I done to it? I've got to get some uh, reasonable mud guards. I don't want to go too silly with it because I intend washing it, but it's got the dropper post. I'm not sure who makes it. And I know it's stupid having that there, but I'm not actually using it. I'm not going to be doing any jumps today. Uh, but it does work perfect. I won't show you it because then I've got to reposition the seat and I've got it perfect at the moment. So I know that's a stupid place to put that light. I've already had that mentioned. Um, I put these stickers on. I can't, can't decide whether to rip them off or not. They were in the bag with my receipts and my, my manuals and everything else. I put one on the other side as well. The Rock Shock stickers. It probably looked better plain black to be honest. It's got the graphics down here. Um, <clears throat> The brakes I'm impressed with, they're okay on my electric bike, but these, uh, the modulation is better on this, on this one. Um, I'm a bit out of breath still, to be quite honest. And like I say, I can't get over the size of that 52 first gear on the back, back sprocket, or should I call it technically a cassette. And the jockey wheels are bigger than standard, what I'm used to seeing as well. They're, they won't look it on video, but they're a lot bigger. Um, I did look at the chain, on one of the pictures I took it does say SRAM Eagle on the chain. 
Uh, obviously this is the lower end Schramm Eagle, uh, the cheapest I'd imagine. But so far I'm impressed. I've about crippled myself carrying it up the stairs if you, as you would have seen by now. Um, but, oh yeah, put me, uh, me up front mount on for my old Garmin that I've still yet to do a review on. I haven't got far to this point because there's a rain. No, no, I don't want to stop me ride. Uh, I've only done 2.1 miles to this point, but I haven't had a punch yet. I might be soaked and dirty by the time I get home, but I haven't had a puncher so far. But uh, oh, and the pedals, yeah, they're too bad. My feet haven't slipped off, considering my feet are wet. These are the standard pedals, metal ones. I don't know who makes these ones, I'm not sure. Uh, the Welgo pedals on my electric Carrera. Uh, the bolt through axle, I'm going to see if I can get a quick release because I know they do a quick release version of this so you don't need an Allen key. Because the back, yeah, my only criticism I think, if you was a, a good, efficient, able bodied, young, fit chap who could really throw one of these bikes about, I can't understand why they de designed a quick release standard 9mm on the back and they put the bolt through axle on, on the front. That doesn't make much sense to me why they didn't uh, do that system on the back as well. But I will report how it goes in the future um, or if it breaks or anything breaks because I do intend uh, all being well with my health and everything keeping this for a while and doing quite a few rides on it. I'm not going to namby-pamby, I'm not going to throw it about and be uh, careless with it chuck it on the floor. I, I do, I am very careful with things, but I'm not going to uh, wrap it up in cotton wool. Um, I will be using it and I will try and clean it and look after it best I can. But at the moment it does, apart from the muck on it, when I wash it, it does look like brand, brand fire new. Uh, it's got that new feeling because it really hasn't done any miles yet. And if this rain starts calming down and the wind as well, it is quite windy. Um, I'll do some flybys or drive-bys or ride-bys. So for now, I'll catch you in a moment. Echo! Right, I'm all back. After me soaking down the canal and uh, the bike was probably not as bad as it could have been with mud. I've spent an hour and a half cleaning it. Soapy water, clean water, re, <laughs> re oiled the chain, uh, GT85 all over the frame. Looks like a new one again. dark in here, sorry about that, there you have it. I'm not impressed with it, oh Bessie who's in a garage there look, I think it's pretty dark, yeah, no lights there but I'm not impressed with this one now that I think the electric one's going to be up for sale. I shall get it out, give it a, a spacking wood cleaning and then it's going on marketplace so if, if anybody out there is after an e-spec electric bike get in touch with me in the comments and or give me a number ninjawaitman at yahoo.com that's my email address I'll get back to you 600 quid that one's going for. I know you can't see it, it's very dark, but uh, it's in very, very, very good condition. 23 charges from new, that one's had, and they claim 500 charges. So on the basis of 30 miles a charge, you get three charges for every 100 miles. It's done 519 miles. But um, thanks for looking. Any comments, any remarks? Put it in the bottom. Take care everyone.